Right, so recently I received a request um, to record how to, you know, do the undervolt of the um, CPU and how you can um, overclock your GPU. In my case, this is um, 1050 Ti on laptop, of course. And we're gonna do a short video about that. <clears throat> Before we proceed with that, a uh, big fat disclaimer is that if, if something goes wrong, or you simply break your computer, I will not be held responsible. <clears throat> I'm just giving you a kind of a guide, but yeah, as I said, I will not be responsible for any of the crap that might happen to you. So first thing uh, that you will want to do is you will go to the website that I'm showing. You will download uh, Throttle Swap. Once you download it, unpack it somewhere where you can easily open it. And then you should be able to see <clears throat> a thing that looks like this so as you can see there is many options here um, I would at least my setup is everything here on the left side of the window you should pick off just uh, leave this BD proc hot um, ticked then the next thing you will want to do is uh, you will go to these settings here um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it it will be FIVR so once you open that window um, just a moment, I need to switch There we go, no This one, alright good, so once you open that window uh, What you will want to do is um, You will want to select CPU core And unlock adjustable voltage It should be on adaptive, do not put it on static, it should be adaptive And then um, your undervolt will um, you can have the same laptop as me, but your undervolt might, you know, be different, right? Some uh, some dies will um, undervolt better, some will undervolt worse. For me, what I found to be um, stable undervolt is on my CPU core. I'm on minus uh, 135.7 MV, and on my hatch, I'm on uh, 130.9. That's minus, so do not overvolt. You need to undervolt. Right, so uh, I guess a safe uh, starting point for that would be that um, you should um, start with minus 100 and then just work your way up. Uh, test your uh, CPU to see how well it will undervolt. Um, it can vary once again. Uh, you can use any CPU burner program to try it, but the best would be actually to play in game because it will, you know, put a lot of. Um, a lot of stress to the CPU um, further what you can also do is and I'm not sure what this exactly does I think this is just some chips that go through the system uh, but if you want you can do it if not leave it it's fine so it will be for the system agent you can mine is uh, minus 105.5 then Intel GPU I noticed that I cannot go be below minus uh, 50 or in this case minus 49.8 that will be your integrated graphics card, so it can happen that if you are uh, watching a movie or something over your HDMI um, it, can, uh, it can crash So yeah, also you can experiment with those settings And once again, I do repeat, it always has to be on adaptive voltage After that, you will uh, go, you will select this uh, thing here It will say OK, save voltage is immediately, you press OK And then you can uh, turn on you see uh, here it says now turn off so that means for me my um, total stop is turned on so you will just click there and that's it um, another thing to know is that um, it will not start automatically with windows you can do that i don't know how exactly because i just have it on my desktop wherever i open my desktop i just uh, open my throttle stop as well and yeah you should be good to go <clears throat> Second thing that I was asked there was how to overclock your uh, GPU, your laptop GPU. Once again, I'm not responsible if something goes to shit. And I do advise you that uh, first you should undervolt your CPU, check the temperatures of both your GPU and CPU while in-game or any other stress program. And if you have enough uh, thermal space there, then maybe you can uh, overclock your, um, your GPU. For me it worked very well because my temperatures never ever go above 70 degrees which is amazing and one more thing also to note is that 1050 Ti cannot be overclocked more than uh, 
on the on the on the core clock it cannot go more than 1911 and memory clock basically you can almost double it so uh, how you will do this is just give me a moment let me just switch to the afterburner <clears throat> there we go all right perfect so I have actually three profiles I have first which is the strongest so core clock is overclocked by 190 that's plus and memory clock by 500 second one will be 150 with 500 because some great uh, some games don't appreciate my overclock so I have to reduce the core clock speed so it will not crash and the third one is as you see even lower 135 plus 500 good starting point would be just to do a notch of about 50 at a time test it and then do it again there is also kind of advanced mode how to do it is uh, actually by lowering the voltages i believe you should press ctrl f yeah and then you will get this uh, screen let me just uh, switch to it oh, okay it cannot switch anyway uh, when you press ctrl Control F you will see kind of a curve with the voltages and it will show you it will show you like at which um, how to say at which course uh, clock speed is uh, voltage used so basically what you can do is just to lower the voltage which should keep your uh, GPU again um, uh, cooler so uh, basically that's it as I mentioned, uh, I'm not responsible if anything goes wrong. Uh, do it at, you don't know, do it with caution. And again, undervolt, don't overclock, don't overvolt, sorry. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any further questions. Maybe I can help you out, you know, to how to set up everything and enjoy your gaming. Bye. So close. Hey, one more, one more. Okay. Hey. Well, I can try. This way, I'll get two. <laughs> sure. Well. Up. Strong. Ready? Yes. <laughs> oh, you made me miss. You. <laughs> Remu, come here. I found a Heineken. A real one? Yes. Ah, go ahead. You're gonna love it. There's like 16 hyenas, and they're so duck and scary. Well, you know what? Uh, I'd rather go hunt with my papa. You always get too scared. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's go on a real hunt. Huh? All right. <laughs> come, come. What are we hunting? The Oracle wants the pelt of an Ibex stag for the ceremony. You will stand next to the pharaohs, won't you, Vi? You're the Magi. When I'm Magi, I'll stand next to the pharaoh. You'll never be Magi. You're too scared. That's not true. What about the hyena kid? So talk. Enough, you two. The sand is so hot on my feet. Sometimes they light on fire. It makes you faster. <laughs> it is up ahead. Can I come? <laughs> Mother's waiting for you. All right, she has the ceremony coming. Bye, gentlemen. The herd is around here. We don't want just any stag. We want.
want the pack leader.